One of the things I, I'm really curious about, Dylan, basically next gen, as I remember, it's been very focused, or, or it was at least in the past, very focused in live events, right? So you were hosting all these uh, summits uh, during the year. It was a lot of bringing people together physically. Of course, you have the platform and you have the community online as well, but there, there was a, a big impact of the live events, right? So events in, in person. But then COVID came, right, 20, 2020, and what it was part of the NDA, uh, of the true essence of, let's say, next gen, completely ch changed, right? So I don't know if you could uh, walk us through that, through that journey, how, how, was, how were those years, what do we have now, right? That change, does it get to something better, right? That I'm, I'm curious to learn a little bit more about that, that story. With pleasure. Can you believe, Alex, that three years ago, three years ago to the date, it's, we're recording this on May 19th, 2023. Three years ago, you and I, we were probably also on Zoom. I remember it vividly because we couldn't see anybody, right? We, we were just connecting through Google Meets and Zoom and Teams. It's insane how fast, but also how, how far we've come in those three years. Uh, going back to prior the pandemic, we were, as you said, a thriving events business. We were hitting all of our goals, built a million dollar business, less than one year out of school. Things were looking great. We had a team, we, our, our clients, I named a few of them before, the largest companies in the world, some of them. Uh, and we felt like we were on top of the world. Then the pandemic hit and you can no longer host gatherings in person. And we watched our run rate go from over a million dollars to zero. <laughs> That's really hard. That's really difficult to stomach uh, and, and to accept. And I'll be honest with you, Alex, it took us a long time to actually come to terms with the new reality. I remember vividly thinking, even this time that year in 2020, it'll pass, right? It'll pass, give it another week, give it another two weeks, another three weeks. And we just kept punting that, that delay, right? Oh, let's delay the event by a month. Let's delay the event by two months. There came a time, it was probably around May, right around this time when we accepted that this is here to stay. This pandemic thing ain't going away overnight, right? And, and the world had that acceptance. It's not like Dylan had some crystal ball, right? And I was any unique. No, the world came to acceptance that this thing is here. We have to learn to live with it and persevere anyways. And that's when I started thinking about, well, the, the mission, the ethos of what we were describing through our event series, where we were delivering to young people. That is not something that was exclusive to events. Events were simply the, the vehicle that we chose, the mechanism we chose to take our message and connect it to the world. But that could be done with technology. And let's be honest, it could also scale really well with technology. Yes, you lose something when you go from in-person to digital, but you might gain a whole lot more, uh, whether it's personalization thanks to things like AI or the opportunity to meet people that you might not physically have been able to get in contact with. All of that's powered by the internet and technology, right? And many thousands of companies are thinking the same way. Uh, and we were of that same mindset. And so over that year, we spent a lot of time just learning from our customers, learning from members, learning from people like you, Alex, who in theory would be our future users in the digital world. And we saw a tremendous opportunity to focus on what we think of today as skills-based hiring. Uh, so to rewind a bit and to give your audience some context, through our events, while well, we started off in 2014 as a home for entrepreneurs and entrepreneurial youth, what we quickly realized over the next six years is that the folks who found the most value from our events, they weren't exclusively entrepreneurs or people who were working on a business. They were also students. They were also young professionals, entrepreneurs, right, if you will. Uh, it's a mindset, though. That's the key, right? The entrepreneurial mindset is what all these people shared. Yeah. And what we could do is help them build those skills, build that mindset, and then take those skills and put them into practice in the marketplace, whether starting a company or getting a job. And that's the opportunity that we saw in 2021 that we are still tackling today. And we're, we're grateful to say helping young people, first and foremost, understand where they are. What are my unique values? What is Dylan special at? What are my technical skills? But equally, if not more importantly, what are my soft skills? And then once I know these things, what are some career paths that I can start to explore based on those skills? And heck, if there is a job I really want, a career I really want, but maybe I'm missing some of the skills to go out and tackle that, NextGen is going to help you learn those skills. So you can be prepared. You can go out and apply your new skills in the workforce, help gain full employment, 
Uh, these are the things that matter, especially today in this economy and the, the situation that we're facing. Uh, so what a roundabout journey though, right? We went from event business to SaaS company serving e-learning type educational job tech platform, right? That's a whirlwind and what the heck? But what we did was just follow the journey. We, we never said, oh, events don't work. We have to cancel, close up shop. I think that would have been fair. And a lot of people did that, but we decided to keep pulling the thread, keep pulling the thread. And here we are today, blessed to still be in the game. Love it, love it. Is it, would you say then you keep in the same mission, but what it has changed is how you structure and how you deliver that value? Love how you worded that. Our mission is to empower the next generation to succeed at work and in life. Same mission, more or less, maybe we've changed the words, right? A little bit, but the same ethos from the last eight, nine years, how we deliver that value to your point, completely changed, completely different, right? Very unique, but the same core mission. We're just approaching it instead of maybe from this angle, now we're tackling from this angle, but the yeah. same core vision of success, what it means to the world. 